Hey, it's Red Goat here, and today I just want to showcase a little program I created, which is an option picker, where we have four buttons with some random options. In this case, it's all fruits. For example, now we have apple, orange, kiwi, pineapple. I then click on any of them, and it will be the picked fruit. Apple, orange, kiwi. I can then re-roll, and I get some new options, or maybe not, because I just have an array with a bunch of options, and then I pick four random from the array, so they could be duplicate. But I now have strawberry, orange, pineapple, lemon. Lemon, blah blah blah, reroll, 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 KV, grapes. And as you can see, even though we change the buttons, they still work with the new text. So, first of all, this is made with JavaFX and Scene Builder. And inside Scene Builder, we just have a relatively simple setup. We have some text, we have your buttons inside a VBox. And the VBox have an ID, so we can get all the buttons at once. We then have a reroll button with an on-action call to reroll options. Each of the buttons have an on-action call to get options. And my fruit text have the ID fruit button. So first what we are doing is we are technically having a few components. We have a VBox with options. We have a random because we get some random part of our fruits. We have our fruit text, our options list containing our fruits. And then we initialize our window, which is also the same we're going to be doing whenever I click reroll button. All this initialize buttons method. So let's have a look at how we initialize our buttons. So the main concept is that we first get fruit options. So we have our fruit array list containing a bunch of fruits, but in this case we only need four. So we call a get fruit options method that takes the size of the buttons, which is the amount of buttons, and observable list containing all the buttons, our four buttons, which we have gotten through our VBox. And we then simply just get, in this case, four fruit options. Calling our method get fruit options, which just simply creates a clone of all the fruits options. And then have a new empty array list at first, that's the picked fruits, which is going to be the one we're going to be re returning and use to initialize the text on our buttons. We then go through for the amount we need. In this case, we need four fruits, so four times. And each time we get a random number between zero and the maximum of fruits. So our fruit array, which is our options copy, which is a copy of our fruit array list. And that's the random number. Then pick a fruit by simply adding a fruit from our copy and removing it from our copy. And because we're doing array list dot remove, we then remove this fruit and we then return this fruit and we can therefore add it to our picked fruits. I hope it made sense, but very simply, we have a long list of fruits, then four times pick a fruit and remove it from the long list of fruits and add it to a new list. And then at the end, return this new list with the picked fruit. In this case, four fruits, which is what we see when I click reroll. We pick four fruits and add them to our buttons by just simply going through all the buttons. And then we have a fruit array four fruits so we can just simply say because we're having four buttons and four fruits we can just for each button just set the text to first fruit for the first button the second fruit for the second button and so on that's how we initialize our buttons and how we're able to get options from our fruit array list without getting any duplicates which was kind of the main goal i would like to accomplish being able to get some random elements from this array list without having any duplicates. And just simply last but not least, whenever we click on a button, just very simply, just get a string value from our current button. So the event that we click, just get the source button, we then get a text on the button and save it as the string value. And we just simply set the fruit text, which is down here, to the text from the button. And because of this, no matter how many times we change the text on the buttons, They'll just take the text and set it down. So the buttons is actually just ready to take any input and put it down there. It's allow us to change as much as we want. I hope this walkthrough kind of gave you a decent understanding of this concept. Of course, I will leave a link in the description to the source code if you want to have a look at it yourself, which I highly encourage, as you learn quite a bit more by doing instead of just listening. But otherwise, if you enjoyed this quick showcase, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.